Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. We're currently on the road and we're heading to sunny, sunny okay, Lancaster. Alright, we're here in Kaleo, we've just taken the van off. Just about to take this off and deliver it. Here we are, living the dream of a big Ford. Oh, she's a honey. She goes well, boys. She goes, oh, no, maybe she doesn't actually. She'll be a bit jumpy, but I'm just going to ditch her up here. And then that's her officially delivered. Oh, unfortunately, no way to switch it off other than bugger it into fourth. Install it. Lovely. Nice and delivered. There she is. All delivered. There you go, it's all tipped. Plenty of room now. Plenty of room at the front as well. Let's head for Scotland. Alright, a wee hour or so since you last seen us. Here we are at the yard, obviously it's quite tight so I've parked back for Keith so that he can get in in the morning. I don't want a phone call because I don't leave my keys in the yard. Because I don't trust these boys here. There she's there, stunning. The camera must be a wee bit dirty because it looks all weird. Anyways, I'll see that thing tomorrow. But I'll see this thing today. Alright, it's now the next day and here we are heading to Surrey Cumnock to drop off the van and at the sign writers and then I think we might be picking it up uh, in a week's time to go to Exeter which would be quite nice and then of course we've got the more to go to Galston so let's get that done I was meant to have a couple more of those tractor units uh, for McBurnley's however that hasn't uh, they haven't been shipped over for Ireland yet so that's kind of buggered my plan for the rest of the day and Friday but we'll see what happens uh, I don't know what else could come on or whatever, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can sort. Alright, here we are offloading the van and you can't help but think that it looks a wee bit like a spaceship. Eh? But it's fresh. Alright, so we've dropped that uh, van off in Auchin Lake and now we're just heading on to Galston to drop off the mower. And then that is us pretty much done for today, I think. It's, uh, that could be some work. Uh, we're on the, uh, I, I say tight roads, I'm going to sound like a truck in UK, but we're on the low roads as you can maybe, maybe here. Nope, nope, just wee tiny trees hitting half the roof there. Hopefully I don't lose my beacons. <laughs> but no, we are on the right road. It didn't look very right at the start, because this is nice and open for these houses, but once it closes back up, you may have to hug that, that grass line there. We'll be able to hear the trees just a wee bit, and hopefully we don't break a lens on the on the beacons because that's uh, it's not good for business. I don't know if you can hear it just hitting in the background. That's actually quite good, but ooh, I don't like looking at that corner though. Ah, oh. that's all right actually. It's opening up. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Cheesy right. beeps, man. I know this is fine actually. This is bloody fine. It's opening up. Lovely. I've got a wee bit there. Quite glad I'm not extended, man. This would be a little bit trickier. Ah, oh, beautiful through there. Low hanging branches again over this lovely wee sandstone bridge here. Hopefully an 18 ton weight rating. Beautiful. That's why I love Scotland deliveries, you know what I mean? They're bad for your bum hole, but you know, it's nice. Anyways, that's the farm there. I think we have, uh, I think we've made it. And we've, uh, we've made it. Alright, that's the more all dropped off there. Uh, obviously, no GoPro because I was trying to impress him and hopefully get a new customer. Because that's what it's all about the new boys. I'm even taking care not to damage his grass. Because if I damage his grass, he'll probably not give me a phone call back. That was the wee road we took there, eh? And uh, this is the road you're meant to take. And as you can see, it's still tight, but it's just a wee bit bigger. Beautiful. Alright, that's us back at the yard. We're just going to go and do a wee bit of invoicing, a wee bit of sorting paperwork and all that jazz. And then hopefully by that time the rain has settled. And then we can uh, clean the lorry. Honestly, this job sometimes, right, obviously maybe you can hear how windy it is now, but I just opened my door there. The door kicked, obviously, dropped, dropped the door, the door came flying open. And as you can see there, it's bent the door. Look at that. That is a bugger of a den. Hopefully I can 
hammer it out or something, but look at it now, it's like, it's just, I can now get my finger down the door gap, which you shouldn't be able to do, because on the other side, it's nice and flush. That really pissed me off there, man. Literally just five seconds and not paying attention, open the door, too windy, and now I've got this big mat. Look at it, man. It's bad. It's proper bad. There she is. Even when the wind's blowing the snow off it, but uh, we'll get her brushed, get her rinsed, and then we'll do the trailer another day because it's uh, a windy and uh, I'm cold. Might as well give the wee car a wash as well. It is windy, but I can see how it bent my door. Jesus Christ. All right, it's 6 a.m. Friday. We're heading for King Ryan. Now I'm driving about the whole day today with essentially an open window. I don't mean to hear that. Just the wind coming in. It's really starting to annoy me. Alright, I'm actually ahead of schedule by a good 18 minutes. Uh, I wanted to get down here for 8 so I can get reloaded and back up the road into Girvan. Because um, my wee stepdaughter, or whatever you want to call her, uh, is having a coffee morning and her mum can't go and obviously I was meant to be off today and I was like yeah yeah I'll go I'll go and literally the second I said I'd go two phone calls you know what I mean but I said I'd go so I'm still gonna go so that's why we're starting a wee bit earlier so we can at least pick this up plus you know Gervin's kind of on the way back up anyways all right we're just picking up one this morning this wee McBurnley one obviously we picked the other two up uh, last week, um, but the contract was for six. Um, there's not a two to come across. However, they have not yet came across. Um, uh, sorry, there was meant to be f another three coming across, but they have not yet came across. And I've been told this morning it's only going to be another two. So, aye, five all in instead of six. But just double checking if our damages or anything major. I wonder if I can steal the door off it and put it on mine because remember. Uh, Identity. Oh, he's done it as well. Must be a common Volvo thing then, look. That's the exact same problem I'm having with mine. I wonder if his... Oh, the fact that that all flooded out there doesn't say that his door's watertight too. Cute! That's a Volvo thing! Let me see. Oh, I can get my two fingers right up there, boys. Right up there. And uh, I can't hold this anymore. My coffee's pushing. And uh, I have... Turned all that on, I've just switched it all off and I'm just going to walk to the, the port office here Because I can't, I tried to load up there, boys I'm fucking I can't match that ball, that ball, tube it running eh Right, let's try this again shall we Here we are, we've strapped it down. Now as you can see, the person who moved it before me has obviously taken the strap right from there to maybe a high point in the trailer. This went right through the mud flap. So whenever I do that, I try and come off the body so that it pulls it down past the mud flap. And then my trailer's got these lovely little hooks here. That means I can pull it past down there as well because obviously as you can see, look how close it is to the mud guard there. I know this is a used lorry, but I still do the same with new ones as I do with old ones. You can see how it's past there, but if I was to take it from that hook point there, it would be a lot more in the way. So, I've got one pulling back, one pulling forwards, and then just one on the front. Do the other side, let's get going. Alright, all we've got to do is unplug the Anderson, that is her all nice and loaded. Obviously just one this time. And let's head for the coffee morning. Hi right, kids. I thought there was a bolt coming in there. Alright, here we are, we made it. It turns out it's not a coffee morning. It's called the Daffodil Tea Party. You know, just casually having a wee 45 for a, for a tea party. 
Nice. All right. Oh, daffodil tea party all done. Let's get back to work. Aye, good. Aye, good. Oh, this is not looking good. It's a little bit of traffic here. It's very unusual to get traffic here on the 77. Uh, we'll get there at one o'clock. So far, we've got a 40 second delay and hopefully that's all it is. It's looking a bit standstill up ahead though. Ah, uh, a wee bit of BMW action in the wet. Ooh, that's some parts that's gonna go through my tire. Oh, right after, ooh, right after the armored van. Jeez, eh, peeps, man. Jeez, eh, peeps. That's a shame, but BMW's in it. My Mustang's the exact same in the wet. Just very, well, that's me just assuming that it was the BMW at fault. It looks like we've got a couple of cars up here as well with some smash bits as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez, eh, peeps. Oh, jeez, oh, mate. All right, here we are. She's made it, and the weather's got a wee bit better. And there's another one we delivered last week. There we are, another one, all delivered. Lovely. Beautiful. Nice and easy. All offloaded just in a nick of time because it's absolutely shining itself, didn't be rain. Right, let's fix this door. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The chances of that. Anyways, let's fix this door. As you can see, it's still windy. Hello, Lori. That's just gonna be a problem. Anyways, got an assortment of hammers. Let's get at it. Okay, just shows you the extent of the bend there, eh? Can you imagine that's all meant to be flat? Jesus. Try to get a good camera angle with this. There isn't really many options, but now we've got to try and fix this window gap. I don't really know how to do it without going through the window with a forklift. I'll show you the, <coughs> the thing in just a minute. I'm just trying to work at this essentially and see if we can and see, if, see if we can take the bend out that the, the bend the gap out that door. Now, this probably isn't the way to do it, but uh, this is the way we're going. Not bad. The gap's still there, but it's certainly better. It's certainly better. I wonder if we try and move it over a bit. Let's see if we can. Just don't want to break the glass and then end up causing more issues, but. The problem is now I've bent the top of the door. But that's a nice wee gap, that's all kind of roughly back to normal. If it stays like that, but the top of the door's all bent now. Because we've been pulling the ratchet strap, which isn't that handy, but that's a wee bit better. Go straighter. There she is, all parked up for the week. I've dented that door now, which is really annoying me. But hopefully, come on, day. It's all nice and straight. 